What's the name of that? That that person's called a narcissist. Yeah, go ahead, pull it through. What's going on, everybody? We're back with another segment of Rappers React. Smoke. Go. What up? I. Yeah. We. Yeah. Us. Uh huh. Me. Uh huh. Looking for another one. Y'all. Very close. Yeah. Uh, uh, you. You got it, my friend. <laughs> Guys, before we get started, please do us a big, big, big favor. Y'all, please hit that thumbs up button. Guys, please, please subscribe to the channel. And for God's sake, leave us a comment and tell us what to react to next, because that's how we get the ideas for these videos. Comes directly from you, right down in the comment section, and also over on Patreon. To Dang! Dang! <laughs> we got another wonderful suggestion from one of our wonderful Patreon members who goes by the name of Danny. Danny. Yes. Shout out to you, Danny, because you have been a loyal Patreon member and you have sent us over a band that we have not gotten into. Not yet, man. The name of the band is called Candlebox. Candlebox. Candle Break it Candle. down, Smoke. You know what? Um, we covered Jawbox recently. Right. And that was what it made me think of because I've heard of Candlebox before. Okay. And there was one big song back in probably the middle school to early high school days, like mm -hmm. sometime in the 90s. Right. Um, I can't remember what it was called, though, to tell you the truth, but it was a big hit that they had back then. I, why do I want to say that this is um it's like far away or something like that? I might be wrong. I feel like they had a song called like "Cover Me." Is that the one you think about? Maybe. Man, it's been so long since I've heard that. Hmm. I know it was on the radio back in the day, though. Yeah, the name definitely, definitely sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. If you um, so you you having somewhat of a a knowledge or. Think you might have a knowledge. Yeah. Me as well. You. What kind of music you think? Why? I want to. I want to say grunge. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Somewhere in that grunge alternative scene, you know, the, the the postmodern punk rock. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. <laughs> yeah. Something. Something in that that realm. You know, right. Of the the grunge alternative scene. I hear you, man. I'm trying to think. Do to this day, y'all. I'm trying to figure out how a lot of these bands come up with their names. Candlebox. I, I just, I I feel like there was, what? I think sometimes <laughs> in the 90s, yeah. people were just like, you know, we got this band. And we need a name. And it's just like, whatever is around. Like, <laughs> candle? What candle? Box. box. What? Candle box. I feel like, you know, there's this thing online now where, <laughs> which a lot of rappers actually use. Uh, a rap name generator. Oh, have you heard of that? Yeah. You put like your first name, yeah, your favorite color. We did that, I think, one day. Yeah, we did. Yours was like, what was mine? Um, I remember it said I should do a song called "Molly Better Have My Puppy." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's what I think. I don't know if they they had like a bunch of. I feel like a lot of the bands back then they just wrote down random things, mm -hmm. put it in a hat, shook yeah. it up. Here's the first word, candle. <laughs> Maybe so. Box. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. But the name of the song <clears throat> is called You. You. Now, I feel like this might be self-explanatory. <laughs> it might be. I, I, I think it's just, you know, it's either talking about a relationship where mm -hmm. they're saying, hey, it's all about you. You. It's always all about you. Yeah. Never about me. It's always all about you. Yeah. What's the name of that? That that person's called a narcissist? Isn't that what? Yeah. <laughs> Someone who's self-centered, but then they entrap the ones around them into believing they are caring when they are actually not. Right. There's a whole, you know, a whole realm of uh, personality type that belongs to the narcissist, you know? Right. Well, I remember you, when we used to do the podcast, you used to say you your personality type was... Oh, what are you talking about? The the Briggs Meyer? It, it, it was like, you, you did the test and then I did the yeah, test. Yeah, the INFJ. Uh, introverted, intuition. Um, uh, I, I'd have 
to go back and read the, the what Briggs was yours? Meyer. INFJ. Which stands for? It was introverted, intuitive. Uh, I can't remember what the F and the J was. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I only read the Briggs Meyer for a little bit. Dang. Man. I, I'd have to go back and review that. Do you remember what mine was? Yeah, you were ENFJ. You were the extroverted version of me. I was more of the advocate, and you were more of the doer. Okay. Like I would be the the Yoda to your Han Solo. <laughs> that means you got to start talking in parables. <laughs> oh, hey, I can do that. <laughs> uh, hey, I I am. Uh, <laughs> um, I was about to say ambidextrous. Uh, <laughs> I have dyslexia, so I could easily talk like Yoda. Yeah. <laughs> on accident. Instead of in in the beginning, you know how you always say and to. Day, you'll say yeah. today and, and. <laughs> <laughs> small dog. What up? Let's get into it. Let's do it. reminds me of somebody dude it rang a bell as soon as i heard it yeah i remember this band you know this i know i don't know the song but i know the band gotcha
Huh. That definitely rang a bell as soon as I heard his voice because now I remember the hook or at least part of the hook where he was like, May, hey, hey, baby. Do you want to grow your YouTube channel? Do you want to earn more views, more subscribers, uh, more watch? <laughs> that <laughs> didn't work out. <laughs> Say that again. Yeah. But yeah, as soon as that started, man, I, that rang a bell. Like, as soon as I heard his voice, our, our, it, that hook from the song I was thinking of kind of kicked in. Where he was like, uh, May, yeah, 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 bad. Mm -hmm. Didn't mean to treat you all oh, so bad. But I did it anyway. Sing it, boy. Sing it. <laughs> That's all I remember right now off the, the hook. But his... I do remember that song. I remembered his voice when you... I heard that. Oh, the, you remember this song or? No, I remembered the his song voice you're... from this song. Right. And equated it to that other gotcha, song. Gotcha, yes, gotcha. Yes. Man, I, I feel like his voice. I don't know if I'm, like like you say, I don't know if I'm equating his voice with another song I've heard. Mm -hmm. But y'all don't kill me for this. But I really feel like he sounds like, who, man, it's, yeah. It's another band that we've recently done that his voice sounds that we've recently done. Yeah, because I was thinking I don't know like a Buck Cherry or something, but we haven't really done them, have we? The name's escaping me, but sure. however, you can't you can't escape the fact that this talent is right in your face. Yeah, you oh know? yeah, yeah, it's amazing. It's great. What did you what did you get from the lyrics? Because I'm kind of lost here. I, I will. I was trying to make that out too, man. Uh, and it seems like he's he's. Uh, torn between the feelings he has for this person mm -hmm. and realizing that maybe it is like I said like you know I, I've done all this for you now you know it's drove me crazy and I need to take some time for myself mm -hmm. you know to straighten this out uh, see yeah. I, I thought the same thing but then when he started saying you know you push your drugs in my face yeah. and you know it's like it's probably something deeper going on more than just a relationship like an intimate relationship right you know? see maybe maybe he is saying like you know i'll die for you i'll cry for you i'll lie mm -hmm. for you however you're doing all these things that are detrimental to our relationship so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to die for you and lie yeah. for you and cry for you and in the end he's just like f you basically all right hmm. there's enough of you <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> you Man, um, Danny, thank you so much for oh, this yeah. um, this suggestion. We've definitely been needing to get into Candle Box, man, because I, base it's one of those things where you almost forget that they existed at some point, you know, because <laughs> you haven't heard anything from so many years, you right? Know? And now you're like, man, let's get into that. <laughs> See, that's 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 the beauty of what we do here, man. Like sometimes we'll hear a song and we'll be like, man, I ain't heard that song in a minute. Exactly, you know? yeah. And then we get put on so many gems by the trash. Oh talkers, yeah. You know? So I mean, guys, any more suggestions by Candle Wax? And if y'all can candle think of box. the candle. <laughs> <laughs> any more candle wax is that stuff you eat all you, the time. I bite <laughs> but yes any more suggestions by candle box and if y'all know the song that Smokey is referring to put it down in the comments mm -hmm. and let us check out some more I light up a stage and box a chomp like a candle poisonous <laughs> poisonous how you go from from, <laughs> from candle box to vanilla ice <laughs> only Smokey Ramirez, Wikipedia Ramirez oh man spinal <laughs> <laughs> guys thank y'all so much for this and any more suggestions like i said keep them coming with that being said my name's behringer hollywood six bye oh one thing real quick introverted intuitive feeling judgmental i am larry smoky ramirez cowan and we are over and out deuces <laughs> I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Rappers React today. If you want to see another artist that we covered, it's right over here. If you want to see the last video we did, it's right over here. Thank you guys for tuning in. We do this for you. Please go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you will. Give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.